Hey guys, Paul from Ultimate Fappner here. In this video, we're gonna talk about beta alanine and we're gonna ask some questions. We're gonna ask, what is beta alanine? What does it do and why do we take it? Does it actually work? And lastly, should you take it? Back at you in just a couple of seconds with all the answers, don't go anywhere. Okay, welcome back. So what is beta alanine exactly? Well, it's a naturally occurring amino acid. Now, amino acids are the building blocks of proteins, as I'm sure you know. Beta alanine is mainly marketed as a bodybuilding or sports performance supplement. Now, what does it do and why do we take it? Here's what's interesting about beta alanine. It's not the beta alanine itself that's responsible for this boost in performance. Instead, it's something called carnosine. Now, the body uses beta alanine as one of the raw materials needed to produce carnosine. There's another one called histidine, but we don't need to supplement with it because the body generally has plenty of it floating around to do the job. Carnosine is exciting because there's a direct relationship between the amount of carnosine stored in your muscle fibers and your ability to do work. Here's how it works. One of carnosine's jobs is to neutralize the hydrogen ions which are a byproduct of anaerobic glycolysis. What the heck does that mean? Anaerobic glycolysis is a process by which the body creates energy without the presence of oxygen. When you lift weights, you require dramatic amounts of energy for those explosive, powerful movements. This energy is generated by an anaerobic process, and one of those byproducts of the process is hydrogen ions. As muscle contractions continue, as you do more and more reps, hydrogen ions build up in the muscle, thus lowering its pH level and increasing its acidity. This is known as muscular acidosis, and it's the reason for the increasing burn and the increased weakness you feel as you do more and more reps. Now, the long and short of it is that if you have more carnosine in your muscle cells, you can delay acidosis, which means you can work out harder and you can work out longer. The harder and longer you can work out, the greater your adaptive response, and the better your results will be, All right? Okay, so let's get back to beta alanine again. In a nutshell, the reason why we take beta alanine is to boost carnosine levels, specifically in the muscles. And we'll talk about why this is important in a moment. Now you might be asking, hey, hey Paul, if carnosine is such hot stuff, why bother taking beta alanine in the first place? Why not just take carnosine? Well, that's a good question. The problem is that our bodies contain an enzyme that breaks down carnosine. So if you wanna boost carnosine levels in the muscles, you're not gonna be able to do it efficiently by oral supplementation. It will simply be broken down and metabolized before it gets anywhere near the muscle tissue. So we've gotta use something else. And that something else is beta alanine, which our body converts to carnosine. Okay, so now we know why we take beta alanine. The next question is, does taking beta alanine elevate muscle carnosine levels like the advertisers say? It's one thing to talk about theory, but we have to ask, is there any science that demonstrates that beta alanine is actually good at elevating these muscle carnosine levels? Well, the good news is that there is clinical evidence showing that it does. And if you want to view this evidence for yourself, just follow the link under this video to the full beta alanine review on ultimatefapner.com. The next question is, does having elevated muscle carnosine levels lead to increased levels of athletic performance? That's a good question. The answer to this also appears to be yes. There are published studies that demonstrates the performance enhancing effects of beta alanine, and you can find a link to those studies under this video as well. Now let's return to the questions I asked at the beginning of the video. We know what beta alanine is, we know what it does, and we know why we take it. We even know that it works. The last question is, should you take it? Well, it's one of the few bodybuilding supplements that actually has a decent body of supporting evidence behind it. And while ultimately it's going to be your decision, I can tell you that a good quality beta alanine supplement has been one of my go-to supplements for years, and I only take a handful of them. Now, although my experience does not constitute evidence by any means, I love this stuff. I'll get into product options and dosages and so on and side effects in another video, but for now, I definitely recommend this product. It's great, right? It's safe, non-toxic, the side effects are minimal, just some itching and so on, and it definitely makes a difference in your training. Now, if you've tried beta alanine or a product that contains it, please leave your comments and feedback below. I know our viewers would appreciate it, as do I. Of course, you're also welcome to give us a thumbs up rating for this video if you found it helpful. And if you haven't done so already, I'd really love it if you'd subscribe to this channel. It would really help us out, help me out. Just click the big red button. You'll be taken to the homepage to subscribe. And of course, you'll be updated whenever we post new reviews and new videos and so on. 
Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon.